Pisces, I'm sorry that you guys are getting this a day later, maybe. Actually, it's just several hours later because they posted like late last night. I just did Aquarius and I'm using this tarot deck, which is called the Pride Tarot. It was a gift to me. So let's see what's going on with your cards. I kind of went a little bit over with that Aquarius reading, so I'm going to have to edit it or cut it because it's more than 15 minutes and it was really just supposed to be 15 minutes. My goodness, Pisces. What's going on? 12th house, sun, moon, and rising. If your sun is in your 12th house, you're giving me that energy. Oh, come on, y'all. You know? Oh, Aquarius, they were taking, they were, they were draining me, child. <laughs> I was giving them a lot. I'm not doing the same mustache situation as I was yesterday. I'm trying to get the um, the handlebar thing going. Like this side naturally is going up. And before it was a shorter side, and this was a longer side. So I was cutting both sides so that like, you know, they would match. And now this one's kind of behind. Let's do it again. It's going to be weird for you. I'm going to do this. And that's it. Because I think that I did it back. I needed to do it one more time, but I finished shuffling as if it was the end of the third time. But it was the beginning of the third time, so I'm doing what I was going to do before I did what I did. Done, done. <laughs> and let me go ahead. Da, da, da. Okay, so the Nine of Wands came out, and this is talking about, you know, healing from some past actions, right? Maybe you are taking responsibility from some past actions that may have caused some sort of disruption, right? Uh, or maybe, you know, that's what we're dealing with. And now you're creating some kind of, like, healthy boundary by actively doing that, you know? Uh, this is a, a card of great awareness, you know, emotional awareness and acting based on that emotional awareness. You're understanding what is needed right here, right? It's like data entry, computing, da 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 Okay, systems go, you know, and then it's that. So you're like, okay, there's a lot going on. <laughs> um, and you are trying to be very economical with your energy, your time, and your physical capabilities and abilities. And it's right here in the card, obviously. So you're having to adapt to some difficulty that is just, um, you know, creating a little bit of, I don't know, challenge but you're spirited right it's almost kind of like the worst is actually behind you you know the worst is behind you so you can kind of relax you know but you're defensive you're like oh but you know you can actually relax i feel like this too you know it's so funny that it popped out because i was going to be like sun in 12th house <gasps> or sun moon and right all right, here we go. So let's go ahead and see. Queen of Wands. All right. I like this. I'm going to start showing you these cards. But, you know, they're all different because it's a compilation deck. Superhero. We need a hero. Right? So you, you're, like, being, being very heroic at this time. Doing a lot of things. And being like, ah. Oh. You know, you're doing, and the payoff might be happening. You're doing more than the payoff seems like it's happening but it's almost kind of like it's so interesting there's a little bit of a rainbow in there i love it this is very avatar you know so you are like kind of transforming shit you're changing things you're moving things around you're flexible agility ability right 
So we are focused on abilities here. We are using a lot of abilities, right? A lot of our capabilities are being exposed, shown, exhibited here. You know, talents, things like that, right? Because the Queen of Wands is related to that Three of Wands, which is related to the Empress. Yes, you better do, do what you do. You wear it well. Eight of Swords. Okay, so you're worried. You're thinking. You know, am I getting the? Am, am I? Am I being recognized? Can they see? What are they saying? What is? What is? What is? You know. Do I have anything to worry about? That's what you're thinking. You're thinking. Do I have anything to worry about? And it's saying you actually don't have anything to worry about. You know what I mean? You are imagining it. And, um, you know, you have to actually, <laughs> yes, obviously take the blindfold off, see things for what they are. And once you stop Sun in Gemini, right? That's what, the, no, this is Jupiter in Gemini. It's a multitude. It's a great deal of, you know, nonsense. You might be having fearful thoughts. You know, that type of thing. You know, don't run away from your imagination. And also be patient with your imagination because your imagination can actually kind of be like very dark and volatile sometimes. So you can't trust your, all of your thoughts. You know, if it's not something that's being told to you directly, then you shouldn't be thinking that it is what is happening or going to happen or you know, could happen, you know what I mean? Because then you're just kind of like creating more, more, more fluff in the air. You're creating more, th more thickness in the atmosphere. It's like, think of unnecessary thoughts as extra fat in your food. Why are you putting extra fat in it? You know what I mean? You don't really need it, you know, or extra calories or cholesterol, right? Think of it like that. Oh, you know, imposter syndrome, stop it. All of that stuff. Stop it. Queen of Swords, right. Eight of Swords, ah, my gosh, I'm worried. You know, why are you worried? And it's like the Queen of Swords is like, shut up. You have nothing to worry about. And that's good. That's great. You see what I mean? Truth, right? Focus on the truth. Don't focus on your thoughts that are causing you stress that are like not even true. And they're not, they're an illusion, you know? That type of thing. Okay? If it's not being said or told to you, no. What is it? It's nothing. <laughs> Poof. You know what I mean? This is related to the Three of Swords. And it's like coming around, things coming around full circle. So the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords is here. These are two people, right? Two things going on at the same time because they're both threes. Action, knowledge, intellect, exploring different options, right? You know, thinking in very like um, mature, elevated ways. You know, that type of thing. And it could have to do with, you know, being very aware of your environment too. You would do very well to be very aware of your environment and very aware of how to act and behave in your environment. Or you're being very aware of how people see you, that type of thing, you know what I mean? Because the Queen of Wands knows how people see them and the Queen of Swords is, is aware. You know what I mean? Because the Queen of Wands is showing people how they want to be seen. Ah, oh, I'm doing what I, I'm doing. It speaks, for the, the actions speak for themselves, right? And the Queen of Swords is saying like, you know, being honorable and, and authentic, right? 
um, also speaks for itself. Things that are being said with substance here. Queen of Swords, that's what's that's what's going on here now in the future, right? That's good. Let's see what's on the back end. We got, yes, Mars in Pisces, Ten of Cups, you got it. This is from the um, Urban Tarot by Robin Scott. It's very New York. I actually have it. And my question has been answered. There are multiple images from an individual deck done by a single illustration artist. If that makes any sense. See? So, yeah, it's working out for you, right? <laughs> you need to let go, let go, jump in. Oh, now what you're waiting for. There's beauty in the break down breakthrough and something is coming around full circle and there is going to be a joyous occasion or there's going to be cause to celebrate give thanks be you know joyful in what has occurred and what has happened and you know it's like some good things are happening right now there's going to be a turnaround of energy here with this ten of cups Page of Cups, definitely speaking to the Ten of Cups energy, same thing. Let's see what's behind the Queen of Swords. Uh, the King of Cups, wonderful. We got the Page of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the King of Cups. So the Page of Cups is talking about, you know, not giving in to the emotional... Or actually, maybe you do need that. <laughs> Maybe you do need to talk about your feelings more out loud, expressing your feelings in, in a way, right? It's like, your feelings are trying to get your attention. What is that? You're learning lessons of emotional growth. Okay, here, something is happening, right? You're growing emotionally. You're probably even growing psychologically. And you're having a very intuitive feeling about something that is going to work out in some kind of way, shape, or form. The King of Cups is here, which is Taka, speaking to your emotional maturity, right? It's like in the past, you've got the Page of Cups. The Ten of Cups is saying learning lessons of emotional, you know, exploration okay because it's mars and pisces and pisces is a sign of exploration okay and maturity the 10 okay and it's coming back around to um emotional awareness and emotional satisfaction that comes from the spiritual journey you know and it's like yeah yeah, it is a journey. You have to submit to that, what the journey is showing you and teaching you. Receive that. And the King of Cups is like, wow, I'm like real in it right now. I'm deep in it because this is Scorpio energy. So it's like, <clears throat> you know, density. So there's a lot of emotional maturity. You're handling yourself very well, considering all of the things, right? It's saying you might even be holding your breath about something. Don't hold your breath. Isn't that my brother and me? <laughs> Um, I don't know what this message is, Pisces. It's kind of a little bit confusing for me, but like it does talk about emotional maturity, emotional growth, learning lessons, you know, what are you submitting to learning and realizing, you know, and, and, and it's not easy, but you're really uh, having to exercise parts of yourself to be able to handle what it is that, um, you know, life has given you. It's kind of like karmic too, because you had to learn these lessons and you, st and you are learning them. But the Ten of Cups is a great card. It's good. You're doing well. 
Like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, follow me on Instagram, Providence Tarot, NYC Kendrick.